Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. Um, and the other day I stopped by one of my favorite kind of pawn shop secondhand stores. It carries tons of tools and picked up a couple of things. Um, in addition, I grabbed this, but I, this was like a last minute um, kind of a impulse thing. Um, he was asking 36 bucks, I paid 30 for it. It's a set of five um, line wrenches or flare nut wrenches. Um, from looks like a eight millimeter, or excuse me, nine millimeter. You can see the nine millimeter all the way up to 18 millimeter. So I've got 18, 16, 17, 15, no skips there, 14, 13, uh, 12, 12 and 10, and then nine and 11. Anyway, um, you can see it's, I don't know if this was the display, the way way it was hung or something, but um, I had gotten this from uh, the same place, this 1012, which it's okay. It's not the greatest, um, but uh, 30 bucks, that was six bucks a wrench, basically, is what I ended up paying. Now, I went on the Lowe's website real quick for Craftsman pricing, and I could get this set for about $21, but not the professional and not made in USA. So I could get the Chinese version, which I have not heard anything good about it. Pop that out. Got to clean these up. Just got them. Um, professional craftsman. Um, and what was interesting is that I just had a talk with the guy, the store owner, and he just said that the Craftsman USA stuff is selling like crazy. Um, and of course, you know, it's marketing. He's trying to sell stuff. But he said that he um, is just finding it... There's less of it coming in, and the stuff he has tends to sell pretty quick, plus all the metric stuff. He had tons of SAE stuff. Anyway, so I guess the question is, for 30 bucks, is this worth picking up? Should we be kind of hoarding the, the USA-made craftsman? Is it even good enough to, to bother thinking about? Um, I haven't stumbled on a snap-on set used, and I'm not as eager to spend the kind of money on a set of flare nut wrenches since basically the 10 millimeter is about the only one I I really use much. Um, but anyway, I, I think this is a um, a decent price. I don't know. Is it a good deal? Are these any good? Um, and if I see some of the good old USA made craftsmen, you know, is it is it really going to be harder and harder to find? So if I don't want necessarily to spend the money on a snap on or I don't want to, uh, I don't know if I'll ever use the tool but I want to have it around, is, is it worth it? Um, so is USA Made Craftsman all of a sudden moving up in um, desirability and, <laughs> in, I guess, maybe um, coin a term, I guess, like uh, um, the, the, is the, is the quality being um, enhanced by um, the new Craftsman being made overseas? In other words, is the USA Made quality being enhanced or is there an appearance that it's getting better because it's harder to find or something anyway um, i'm just curious what you think and what is this a deal you jump on or is it like see if i can sell it and get my money back maybe even lose some money just to get rid of it um, although i don't think i'll do that anyway let me know in the comments and with that doc out